Okay, so kicking things off uh, from the end of the previous video, we're going to have a look at East End Gullies. Uh, so let's just play through this uh, this cutscene. So you'll get a cinematic. You'll get a lot of XP for this fight, even though people died. Uh, and now we're on to East End Gullies. So the first thing to do is once you uh, you spawn, uh, give Idriel uh, the Elf Stone of Fell Shadow. Uh, and then start equipping all the new items that you've got unlocked. So, East End of Gullies is, as you can see, is quite a quick level. Uh, and in fact, a lot of this is just grinding Shadowcraft, which we'll come to. So here's the first time we're introduced to Urukai. Uh, so we meet uh, our good old elf friend. Whose name escapes me? <laughs> uh, I will see it here. Aranel, I think. Yeah, Aranel. Uh, so you walk ahead, you're into a fight. So for some of the fights in this level, you'll have an extra party member, um, which makes it a lot easier uh, because he has by default the arrow volley <laughs> as like a thing. Uh, so you can do arrow storm and just kill everyone. It won't kill these guys, uh, but then you just, you, whoever comes next, just do an attack and kill him. So, a lot of this level, I'm going to explain it now while it's on pause, uh, it's just about remembering which way to go. Because uh, this 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 uh, area is a literal maze. So, if I just pause it here, like you can see how many paths go around here. The idea of this level is these like uh, objective markers are like the elf scouts, so you need to kind of find them all. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go left here. So you're going to follow this left road and we're going to this marker. So just walk up to this marker here. You should get this cutscene so you'll know you're in the right place where you got an elf being chased by two Urukai. Uh, because we have Aranel in the party as well, um, it's the same strategy as the first one. Uh, so we're going to use Citadel Rage on one of the Urukai first. Uh, that will kill him. Uh, Elagos gets a turn. So we'll use Aim Shot. Because we want we want to build up their things anyway, their stats. So we might as well do it. Then the Urukai get a couple of turns. Uh, but then we'll do Arrow Storm and we'll kill the rest. Oh wow, he survived. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just, just finish him off with Lab Water Fury. There you go. And now I've, I've learned all of the Valor, which is very good. Like, that's that's the ability we really need. Uh, okay, so now, once you've done uh, Gullies 2, uh, you'll get, you'll get like, a cinematic with each of them when, you've, when you find them. Here's where it becomes a little bit confusing, because the map doesn't show this path. Head straight, and wh where they ran from, go underneath this rock formation... Go past this rock on the right, and we're going into this cave here. The reason why we're coming this way is because we want to pick up we want to pick up uh, a certain item. Like, there's actually no objectives up here, but we need to pick up a certain item for the, the for later on. So these cave fights can be tough. So the idea here is you are literally going to be targeting each one, one at a time. Uh, you'll notice as well that certain attacks, uh, they have an attack called Grave Wounds. Uh, it's similar to like how Cleaving Wound works, so it's like a poison kind of thing. Uh, so if you get hit by it, it will continue to do damage. Here we are, here's Grave Wounds. It doesn't do much base damage, uh, but when you see Idriel again, like you can just see it there. She's got like a, a signal there, it does extra damage each turn. Uh, so focus on each one in turn. Uh, same attacks, build up creature bane, aim shot. And then... This next fight... 
Uh, perfect mode is going to be crucial. Uh, so equip some items, make sure health is at a good level. So I knew Idra was low on health, so give her health. Uh, so where we're actually going to go here is like, we're not going up here. We're actually going into this area here. So let me just draw. So we're going down here. There's a chest here that we're going to pick up. But first, we have a fight with some mages. Now, these guys are a bitch. Like, you can just see here how much damage they're doing with one murder of crows. Like, if he did one more, Berithor would be almost dead. Like, even the Orc Bash does a lot of damage here. Uh, so, ideally, you would have perfect mode. Like, you can see how close I am to having perfect mode here. If we had it, I would use... Um, uh, arrow volley and I would kill them because it's just too dangerous. Oh uh, yeah, also as well, just to make things harder, these guys, the mages, are immune to arrows of sleep. So you can still damage them with it, but they won't go asleep. So now I have perfect mode. Uh, I should have used it. Because Berithor's gonna die here. <laughs> uh, and then Idriel gets, like, destroyed. So at this point, I should have realized that, okay, I need to kind of get rid of these guys. So I use aim shot. Adriel almost dies. I get lucky. Like, that's how close I was to the run dying. So I recommend on this fight, if you have the perfect mode, use it. Because otherwise, you are going to have to be a little bit lucky to get through that fight. Uh, so pick up the chest. Uh, which has the Cracked Elf Stone of Spirit Enhancement. Give that to Idriel. Uh, because what that does is it's going to combine with the Shadow Stone that she picked, we picked up at the start. Uh, and it's going to make her Shadow Craft attacks do a lot more damage. Uh, now look at stats. So give Elagost Strength and Dexterity. Uh, give Speed and Strength uh, to uh, Berithor. Uh, give Dexterity to Hadhard. Uh, give... Mostly spirit, but then some speed as well to Idriel. Uh, and then do a quick check on health, because I knew Berith because Because Berithor died, uh, at the end of the fight, he'll have one HP. So just make sure he's got some health. Okay. So as you go out of the cave, so you're going to go back the way you came. Uh, you'll need to go down the ramp, right, just hit, uh, just there. Uh, go to the left. Uh, so don't go through this arch. Uh, yeah, go this way. No, is it that way? Oh, yeah, I get I get lost here. Like, even I get lost here. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, go left. Uh, so let's just go back a bit. So instead of going that way, go left here. Uh, and you want to follow this path here. Like, you'll see a chest on your left. That's how you know you're going the right direction. So go to the left, and you'll trigger a cutscene. Because Gandalf is back. Uh, so now he'll tell you about orcs coming ahead. He won't actually help you because, you know, he's, he's Gandalf. Uh, so we'll enter this fight uh, with a few orcs. These, these orcs are really easy. Like, these are the same orcs that we fought at the, right at the start of the game. Uh, they're just a little bit tougher. They've, got, they've basically got more health at this point in the game. Like you can see how much time I lost because I got lost. Uh, so because Berithor had counterattacked, I focused on the other two first. Uh, but yeah, just 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 take them out. Same attacks as before. Uh, and now, essentially, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross this entire like level, like from left to right. So we're going into this cave over here. Uh, oh yeah, just check health. Make sure, make sure health is good. Uh, so you go into this cave and you'll trigger this cutscene. Uh, because now we're fighting the mother of all walks. Look at the size of this thing. Uh... 
So it does quite a bit of damage, but in, in hindsight, he's actually not that powerful. <laughs> like, Loud Water Fury does 3,000 damage, then you can do Creature Bane. And that's the fight done. <laughs> like, when you look at it, it's really, it's like, it's not good. It's just not good. Um, okay. Forge the Eligost uh, leveled up there, so we're fine. Uh, now comes the, the, the really boring part of the run. Like, this is quite a boring part. Uh, so in the Shadowcraft, uh, I should have mentioned this earlier. So in... In Idriel's Shadowcraft menu, uh, in her skills, uh, it's going to set it to, like, Dispel, but you already technically have that. So you want to make sure you're learning Silence first. So now you're going to come to this area. You're going to come up to the body because it's, like, an objective. Uh, and now you're just going to spin in a spot. So you're just going to spin on the spot to build up the Eye of Sauron. Because we actually want to kind of be in a fight here um you'll get this fight you should get this fight all the time uh so the first thing you want to do is get rid of the orc because basically what we're going to do is we're going to keep the warg alive uh but without it having a turn so he'll get he'll get a claw in there he'll get an attack in uh berathor then retreats uh, Adriel will use Drain Inspiration. Because all of the attacks that the Warg does costs him action points. If we keep draining the action points, uh, then he can't go, he can't have a turn. Uh, then Elagos, when he gets a turn, just retreat as him as well. Uh, and then basically what we're going to do is we're going to keep doing this. So... Uh, She's going to have Dispel, so just keep doing Dispel until uh, Silence unlocks. So this is all we're going to do here. So you'll see each time we use Dispel, it costs us 50 action points. Uh, basically what you do is you keep doing this until you get down to uh, less than what you need. So say we're going to reach like 50. Uh, you then use Drain Inspiration to get the action points back. And you rinse and repeat. So... I'll just skip ahead a little bit. So we're going to keep doing Dispel. We learn Whip of the Master. Uh, so then start doing Whip of the Master until Silence unlocks. Uh, the reason why we do Whip of the Master is because it's cheaper. So you'll see here it only costs 30 action points. So keep doing that uh, until you get to like this stage. Uh, I can actually do it one more time here. So I do. So I'm down to 12 8 action points. Now I'll do Drain Inspiration. So I get back to like 247 odd. Uh, and then we're back to Shadowcraft. So now we're going to keep doing this uh, until we see that Shadowcraft has unlocked uh, Silence. So let me skip ahead. There we go. There you go. So we've learned silence. So now we kill the warg. So do a loud water fury. And it will kill it in one go. Because of the end, the spirit enhancement elf stone. Because it also increases uh, spirit attacks. So loud water fury. Uh, now we're going to go into skills. Uh, we're going to change. Uh, this. See what I mean though? Because like. The, the shadowcraft menu is kind of bugged. So it offers you dispel at the start. Uh, but. That's the default one. So we already have that. So once you pick up the Shadow Stone, change to Whip of the Master. Because you don't need to unlock this because we already have it. Uh, so once you've learned Silence, uh, select Black Speech. So Black Speech is an attack that will actually do damage to every enemy you come across. Uh, so same thing here. So we're going to leave one warg alive. Uh, so we're going to kill one of them. I got a bit nervous here because of uh, Berathor counterattacking both, but it kind of worked out in the end. So yeah, so we're going to kill one of the wargs. Uh, then we're going to retreat as Berathor and Elagost. 
You might get one more turn, but don't worry. Uh, and now we're going to repeat what we just did. Um, so we're going to keep doing um, Whip of the Master uh, until we unlock Black Speech. Uh, if the uh, ward does get another turn, uh, just do this until he stops having turns. Uh, so now we're going to keep doing Whip of the Master. Uh, not much to really show you. It's the same process. So it's Whip of the Master, Whip of the Master, uh, until you get down like quite low. Then the Drain Inspiration. And then keep repeating. And there you go. We've learned, we've learned Black Speech. Uh, you can like also quickly give Idriel like full health again. So do a Gift of Elrond. Uh, you can also Drain Inspiration as well. I'd recommend it just to make sure our action points are higher. Uh, but yeah, so once you've done that, uh, you can kill the warg. Uh, before you then move off uh, and back through the cave, uh, go into the skills. Because it will default back to the crippling, because that's like the, the, the lowest level one that we can unlock still. Uh, change that to wheel of fire. You don't need to like grind for it now, uh, but just select it. So we'll learn it at some point. Uh, then do stats. So do speed on Idriel, uh, do strength on Elagost, uh, put some strength on Berathor, more strength on Hadhard, and then you're good to go. So we're going back the way we came, uh, back through the cave. Uh, you want to head straight through here. So we actually entered the cave from here, and then we went to the right. What we're doing here is we're going to cut down here because there's an objective we need to go to. You shouldn't trigger that fight, because for some reason this area is like, it cancels any encounter that you've got going. It counts as like a different area. So this is actually a dead end. Uh, so I triggered a fight here. It is theoretically possible to make it to the warg fight without doing it so i actually make a mistake here because i didn't know that this wasn't the actual fight <laughs> so the fight you should have is just with two with two wargs if you see an orc it's not the actual fight so you can just retreat if you want but the fortunate thing about the fight is i didn't show it off uh did adriel get a chance to do it oh no i didn't i, I actually did something stupid here so if you do trigger this fight and Idriel goes first, just use Black Speech because it will kill them all. Uh, so I actually messed that up quite badly. That's why I'm losing so much time here. Uh, so this is this is kind of the part of the run where it becomes like quite straightforward. Uh, that's why also why you should get um, action points as well from that grind in Shadowcraft split. Because I couldn't use um, Black Speech because you need 80 points to do it. But it's fine. Uh, so at the end of the fight, you'll get this cutscene. Uh, speak to him. Uh, oh yeah, Wargs is exactly the same before. So if you don't use Black Speech, uh, just use Creature Bane and Blood Water Fury. Uh, I grab this chest because uh, it's got a pendant in it. You don't have to. I don't think you have to do that, but I just do it. Uh, then, yeah, check skills. Make sure skills are always up to date. Uh, so go back through the cave, and we're going to go out the way we came in. Uh, if you make it just in time, like, you can see this fight's almost about to trigger, but as soon as you cross, like, this area, uh, you will uh, cancel that, which is good. Uh, now where you're going to go is we're... Okay, I make I make the map uh, bigger. So you're gonna come here, follow the wall. We're going down this middle one. So like where we came from was here. So when we first entered this area, we came from here. So this is where the Gandalf cutscene was. We're going down this path here. Uh, which is gonna trigger some quite easy fights, to be honest. So, a lot of how these fights go depends on the order. So, like, if you look at the order, Idriel doesn't go until much later. 
so you can try and manipulate like it a little bit. So like here, I try and put an archer to sleep. Because that will then skip his turn in the list. Also, nice dagger and stash. Uh, so you saw before that like this guy's meant to have a turn. I skip that because of the hours of sleep. Now Idril gets to go, and because of her black speech, like watch this. <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> so this is basically the theme for the rest of the run. So we are going to be using black speech and then later on wheel of fire. <laughs> like a lot. Uh so it's the same thing down here, so. Once this fight starts, uh, keep an eye on the order. Because the problem with this part of the run now from this point on, it's very easy to forget about the other character's skills um, because of how powerful Idril is. Like, I'll use Shadowcraft here. The problem with, the problem with this strat, even though it's really cool, it's really OP, um, you can sometimes, like, miss out on getting skills for Bereth or Elagost. So, keep that in mind, because if they have a turn, you want to do some kind of attack. Because you still need to unlock stuff for them. Uh, another cutscene here. The reason why you want to do that, by the way, is because, like I said before in one of the other videos, there is a point when you are not going to have Idril. So you need to have some kind of backup. Uh, so when you come out here, we're going to go to the left. You can cut straight through this area here. Uh, because we're going to this marker. So to get up here, you want to go up this ramp. So um, don't go the way that I did. So I kind of went through here to go up here. Go here. <laughs> it's so much quicker. Uh, so you can come up here, uh, and it's actually an ambush. So we're ambushing some Urukai. The thing about this fight is, uh, even though we have black speech, which makes it like super free, you'll see there's five of them. Uh, and it's all ranged. Like, Berithor is useless in this fight. Uh, but we have Aronel back here, which is good. So we can use Arrow Storm, which kills all the orcs. These guys have a bit of health. And this is the thing you have to keep an eye out for with these guys. So we're going to come across these guys for the next, like, three regions. So this one, Rohan, and Helm's Deep. Um, when they activate Damaging Shield, if you do a melee attack on them, whatever damage you do to them, your player also suffers from. So it's actually really annoying. Uh, but the thing is, Black Speech isn't affected by that. So we can just kill them off. Okay, so we're almost done with these Demna Gullies, actually, so it's, uh, we're actually doing okay here. Uh, so once you've done this, uh, you can equip some new items. Uh, giving Elagos things like armor enhancement, action enhancement, and, and like, piercing defense is always pretty good. Uh, equip the strongest bow for him as well. All right, just make sure everything is basically, like, the highest it can be. Um, now what you want to do is you want to cross this area. So, like, you'll see how the area is cut off at this point. So, like, this is the final area. So, like, we've done all, we've done everything this side. We're now just going to focus on everything this side. Uh, so we're going to cross over the region. So don't worry about these because they're, like, extra things that we don't need to do. Uh, we're going to cross over straight, uh, cutting through the ravine uh, and going to this elf scout here like you'll come you'll come across him he's being attacked by well it shows two wargs in the cutscene but it's th actually three uh but if you get aronel just use arrow storm it kills them uh so now um just check skills because of people leveling up so adriel uh you want to have frenzy Frenzy is going to be so, so useful in Helm's Deep. So make sure you have it. 
Frenzy, I cannot stress how important Frenzy is when it comes to Helm's Deep. Uh, oh yeah, also just check that Barathor didn't level up as well, because that can happen. A uh, quick note about this area is these guys are here before you do everything in the level, but if you try and go to them, um, it will say something like, you're not ready, go and find all the elf scouts. Um, but if you follow the way we've been doing it, then you'll be fine. Uh, okay, so this fight, like, it looks easy. Like, like oh, there's only three guys, right? Wrong. Um, so when this fight starts, uh, use Arrow Storm with Aronel, uh, which will probably kill... Um... No, sorry, it won't kill them because they're all the Uruk-hai. Um So it'll do a lot of damage to them. So the way you want to do this is... Arrow Storm with Aronel, then do an aim shot on one of them. If you get Elagos next. If you get Idriel, just do Black Speech. Because here they come. So this level this this is kind of the first time this happens. So you'll have like waves of enemies, basically. So if you do Black Speech, you'll kill all three. It will always kill them, which is great. Uh and then more come. But to be fair, this one's quite easy. It's only like two it's two waves worth. So it's like six enemies you gotta kill. Uh also as well, um if you end up with like Berethal getting a turn first, uh just use perfect mode instead. Like use the hour of volley perfect mode. Uh but that is basically it. So we're all okay, we got one more enemy to kill, I think. Yeah, this guy's not the last enemy. So if you haven't unlocked Crippling Shot yet, by the way, focus on doing Bowcraft at this point. Because Crippling Shot is going to come in useful and it's not far away when we actually need to start using it. There you go. So that's Barricade done. Uh, and that's East Emnet Gully's done. Uh, so you'll get a cutscene at the end of this. And then, oh yeah, this is where... Things will differ depending on what console you're on. So at the end of East Endwood Gullies, um, the game is going to ask you to change the discs unless you're on PS2 or Xbox um, because that was only one disc. Uh, if you play on the GameCube version, which uh, most people do um, because it's uh, the loads are a bit faster, um, there's two things that can happen here. So if you're on actual hardware, you'll need to actively change the disc. If you run an emulator, it will literally do it for you. Uh, you'll need two different ver like you'll need two different files, like ISO files in the emulator. So you'll have disk one and disk two, um, but it'll be a it'll be able to detect and um, change it for you. Uh, how long is Rohan? It's not that long. I'm considering a lot of it is black speech. I think we can probably do it in the same video. Shall we do it? Yeah, we'll combine it. So we'll do Rohan here as well. Uh, so Rohan is quite straightforward. It's basically a case of gather the Rohirrim, go to Edoras, kill, kill Wormtongue, or try to, uh, and then leave. So we can go through this pretty quickly. Uh, so right at the start of Rohan, um, it's good to bear in mind that at this point, you don't need to worry about stats um, until like you reach significant battles. Because of how powerful Idriel's Black Speech is, you can like skip a lot of that. So here you'll have a fight. Uh, use Guardian Strike. Uh, I did the wrong thing there, so... If Idriel isn't the first one to go, don't target these guys. Target the Banner Orc because he can survive the Black Speech. Like that. Whereas if I'd have hit him with that with Berethor first, um, he would have died. It worked out okay because I got an extra bowcraft on Elagost, but just bear that in mind. Uh, 
Uh, right, so now we go into the next phase. So go straight behind the um, the villager and head into the, uh, the burning village area. You'll get a cutscene where we finally meet Morwin. Uh, try and steal an item from this guy. I think he has Morgul Decay, if I remember correctly. Um, but if it misses, uh, don't wait for it to come around again. Just kill them. So we'll just use Idriel's Black Speech. And there they go. Uh, right, so... This part of the game is, like... You see how long this split is? It's because we don't actually do a fight for a long time. Okay, so let me just quickly... Uh, okay, so once you uh, finish with that cutscene, we're going to go west. So, like, this is north. Go this way. Uh, and we're going to follow the path. There's, like, transitions. You'll find these guys by the cliff. So, basically, what we're doing now is we're gathering the groups of the Rohirrim that are scattered around Rohan. So, find these guys. We're then going to cut through the cave, and we're going to these guys. So, let me just quickly draw. So we're going to these guys here. There we go. So find them. Then don't go here. Go back through the cave. Um, there's there there is an area that connects to like back to where we were in the village. The problem with that area is there's a fight with a Nazgul, which uh, you do not want to trigger because <laughs> it's actually quite a hard fight. Uh, so if you go back this way, uh, you'll end up in the village anyway. Um, and you want to go straight across. So just cut across the whole village and come to these guys. This is the area I was talking about. So if you went this direction, you could go back towards the bridge, like the other side of the cave we were just at. Uh, but this is where the Nazgul fight is. So don't do that. Uh, so find these guys. And now, because for whatever reason the game's clever... It's put one of the group of the Rohirrim right at the start um, of where the map spot started. So we're going all the way north. Right, you'll see we're right back where we started. These guys have now spawned. We're triggering those guys. And then as you walk back this way, you'll get this cutscene. Okay, uh, so now the bridge is unlocked. So if you try and cross the bridge um, before you've got all the Rohirrim, there's actually um, guards there that stop you from going on the bridge. Uh, so you need to make sure you get all these guys. Uh, also, don't worry about that. You'll always escape that if you, as long as you keep moving. Uh, so go back the same way. So don't go this path again, like where the Nazgul fight is. Just go back the same path we went through before. Uh, once you get through the cave here, you'll get a weird camera. But now we're at the bridge. So if you come here early, this is closed. For a new runner as well, uh, just to bear in mind, uh, even though you've got black speech, um, I recommend saving here. There's a save point just here, uh, just in case. Oh yeah, also Morwin has a really good call thing. Like all of her attacks, because she dual wields axes, she does two, two hits per, per hit, which is quite cool. Uh, okay. Okay, so, first thing you're going to do is, uh, if I look at the order, you'll see that I knew that Idriel had a turn coming up. Uh, so we're going to skip over Elagos' turn, so Idriel gets one. Uh, because Morwin died, because she's actually really weak. Uh, and we're just going to do Black Speech. Uh, you're going to get two more enemies spawned, so like the, end, the end enemies have like reinforcements that like climb the bridge. Uh, but then it's the same thing, uh, just Black Speech. And that will kill them. And that's basically the theme for the whole bridge. Uh, so once you've done that, uh, just make sure like people are 
at least somewhat got health. So like, they don't need to be full health, but just make sure they've got like health where they're going to survive some hits. Uh, so the second bridge fight, you'll trigger the cutscene. How can we find them in the midst of this hard? Okay, so the second bridge fight. Uh, another black speech, and everyone but the mage will die. Uh, you'll then get more reinforcements from both sides. So now you've got three left. Do I unlock it at this point? No. Uh, I do an aim shot on the uh, the mage with Elagos, so he, he misses a turn. Uh, bring Barathor in because he's just stronger. You can do Citadel Rage. Okay, that missed, but you get the idea. Uh, and then... No, he, he misses the counterattack as well. That's so good. Uh, then just do Black Speech as well. So you're going to see a lot of that. That's why like I did Rohan like now, because like this... Game becomes much quicker at this point. Like, we're two and a half hours into the run, and this run's like five and a half. Like, the last three hours goes by so much quicker than the first two and a half, in my opinion. Uh, right. Start of bridge three. So this is the last bridge fight. Uh, first of all, again... Shadowcraft, uh, which will kill the archers up here, um, but it won't kill these guys. Uh, but then you can just finish them off like this. You'll then get some reinforcements. Uh, finish off the Urukai because they're, they're the main threat. Uh, don't worry about that if that happens because it, as long as Idril survives, you're okay. Uh, if Adriel does die, uh, just make sure you revive her with elf medicine. Because <laughs> then she can just do that and finish the fight. Yeah, I lost like quite a bit of time on that fight because of the order. It didn't work in my favour. Uh, right, so now uh, we're going to walk through the bridge. Uh, do I check stats here? I'd be surprised if I didn't. Yeah, I do, okay. Uh, so check skills here. Make sure that everything is set up right. Uh, you can also add stats there maybe as well, but like I say, you don't really need to because of how this goes. Uh, okay, yeah, here we go. So after that cutscene, I add stats. So I add a lot of, I'd, I'd like spirit here and then speed, like using these numbers is a good guide of where we want to be. Oh yeah, I misclicked there. I wasn't meant to close it. Uh, there. Strength and dexterity, strength and speed, and real bit dexterity as well. So kind of pause and you'll see like numbers. Um, don't worry about adding uh hard hard too much at this point. Because you hardly ever use them. Uh so when you enter Edoras for the first time, you'll get this cutscene and the first fight. Um so I want to point something out. Uh I need to kind of wait for a uh point to do it. Whenever you see one of these guys, so not one of these guys, so not him, one of the like white gray haired ones or the white like or white haired, um, you want to try and use Morwin and steal item. Like if you get a chance, I don't get a chance here because of Idriel coming first. If you've got Morwin and you get a chance to, try and steal an item from this guy because he'll always be carrying Morgul Decay. Uh, like, throughout the videos, you can probably see why my Pelennor Fields was so bad. Um, because I lost so much time on not having the Morgul Decay there. Okay, so now... These markers all look like... Like, oh my god, what do we do here? You don't need to activate all of these. So we go to the left-hand side, and you want to go up the first ramp. Uh, and we're going uh, to the left-hand side of this area. So you're going to trigger this fight, first of all. Um, you can do an arrow of sleep, uh, because we're, don't forget, we're still trying to build up skills for the other guys. 
Uh, he's immune, so don't worry. Uh, but then just finish them off with black speech. And then, yeah, just Guardian Strike if he survives. Like, it, it becomes repetitive at this point. Uh, so yeah, so up here, we don't need to activate this light switch here. We need to activate this. So you have to open the gates of Edoras to get through to the top, to the, uh, the main hall. Uh, you, you can open that chest if you want to. You don't need to. There's not much in there. Uh, so once you've opened this one, just go straight back down and just follow the path around the edge. Uh, so come through here, and now we're going, like, keep going around the path, and we're going up this one here. Uh, you should avoid this fight by entering the ramp. Yeah, so, like, you, when you get to the save point, the Eye of Sauron will disappear, so just keep moving. Uh, so up here, we're activating both switches. Uh, but first off, we're going to enter this fight. Uh, so once again, uh, we're going to have one of these guys. So here, I bring in Morwin and I try and steal um, from him. I think I miss though. Oh, I don't know. I get it. So yeah, you see, he always carry he carries Morgul Decay. Just make sure you get it. Uh, and then also at this point, I still had an unlocked Crippling Shot, uh, so I went for a Bowcraft before Pidril had a turn. Okay, uh, so once you respawn, uh, just make sure people have the right skills set up. So, uh, because I had Frenzy unlocked, because I leveled up, so I'm now level 37, uh, you can go with Grace of the Elder. Ooh, sorry. Uh, but now what you want to do up here is you want to open both of these. I wasn't very uh, optimal with these. Oh yeah, I messed up here. I triggered this fight by accident. Yeah, so because I walked towards that chest, I triggered this fight, uh, which you do not want to do. It's not its not a chest worth going for. Uh, actually, what, what was in that chest? Is it actually worth it? Yeah, that's not worth it. Yeah, don't go for that chest. Go around it. So kind of go around the left-hand side and then go towards this switch. <laughs> so don't do what I did there. Uh, there's Lembus in there. Just grab it just in case. Uh, so now, uh, once you've done both of those switches, you can head down and follow this path. Uh, go to the left. And we're going to go up into this platform because we're going to open this, this gate here. Uh, again, this should run out, yep. Uh, but you'll trigger this fight now. Uh, once again, you've got one of these guys. Uh, so we'll try the same strategy. So if Morwin's alive and gets a turn, uh, you will try and steal a Morgul Decay. Uh, so here, like, how did the order look in this? What should I have done? Yeah, so like, you can see, like, if I hadn't have done the black speech here, like you can see how long this fight would have took because Idriel wasn't going to get a go for a long time. Like it was going to be four or five turns before she gets a turn. So it's not worth waiting for. Unless you absolutely need the Morgul Decay, which in reality, I kind of did. Uh, so yeah, so once you've uh, beat that fight, you can uh, open the last switch. Well, second to last switch, but the last one in this part that we have to do. Uh, you then just want to go back down the ramp, follow the path to the left, and just kind of loop around. And you'll go up towards the hall. Uh, save the game before you go in there, because we're going to have a fight with, uh, Green with Wormtongue and... Two of the most annoying enemies in this game. So, 
These uh, Lancer guys are super annoying because they are very heavily armored and they do a lot of damage. Uh, but fortunately, we have a nice way of doing this right now. So try and steal uh, from each of these Lancer guys, by the way, uh, because they'll have Morgul Decay. Uh, bring in Berathor uh, and do Perfect Mode. We're not doing Arrow Volley, though. Do Earth Barrage. Uh, and you want to target Worm Tongue. So Earth Barrage can only attack one person, but target uh, Worm Tongue because it will kill him in one go. Uh, you can then do a Frenzy here with Idriel, which you should have unlocked as long as it was done properly. Uh, and Frenzy, you can do two Black Speeches. So there we go. So that fight casually is really hard, but the speed run is actually really cool. And you can see how much time I save here because of those strats. Okay, so once you finish the fight, uh, you can open up the uh, the switch. Do I go for the chests in here in this run? I do. Um, get that one there uh, for elf medicine. And you can get some uh, extra armor for Aodin, who you haven't even met yet, which is quite funny. Um, get those ones, but don't go for the ones at the back of the hall, like towards here, because uh, there's nothing in there that's useful. Uh, also, with the elf medicine, you don't really need it unless you absolutely like just want to make sure. Uh, oh, yeah. Also, make sure that at this point, if you've got enough levels up, uh, Barathor's on double attack, because it's the same as Frenzy. You get two turns. Uh, so come out the gate. Uh, if you head into the cave, you get another cutscene. And we're fighting some wargs, but let's face it. They're too easy. So Adriel will get a turn at some point. Do I skip a turn as Berathor or do I just do a sword? Oh, I just skip. Uh, you can either skip or you can do a sword attack. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, a black speech. But you can see where this is going at this point in this run. Uh, head out of here. You'll likely trigger this fight. Uh, because it's like quite hard to miss. Uh, but if you look at the order, like it's quite hard to miss. Uh, just black speech, everybody. Uh, so here's the actual fight. So you'll get a cutscene that shows Aodin. Uh, yeah, you'll see him here. And he's going to get attacked by some wargs. Uh, this time I do uh, attack. Because I just want to try and build up swordcraft. Uh, Idriel then just use one black speech. Don't worry about frenzy. Uh, unless there's like an enemy you know is going to take more than one. With wargs, just hit it once. Otherwise you're going to waste 200 AP. Because every time you do a frenzy, it costs you 200 Uh, right. Now for Sharku. Uh, so once you walk past this save point, you're going to trigger this cutscene where Elagos kind of tracks things. Uh, here, uh, do Earth Barrage again, uh, targeting Sharku. Uh, and then you can do Creature Bane, just in case. Uh, but once you get to Idriel, you can just do uh, one black speech, which is enough. There you go. Uh, at the end of the fight, Sharky will just run away. You won't actually, like, kill him. He'll just run. Never to be seen again, by the way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that is the fun part. So that is Rohan done. So we've got two more areas done. So we're now four areas, uh, five areas in, sorry. Uh, and we're on to uh, Helm's Deep. Uh, so Helm's Deep is actually quite fun. Like, I, I love Helm's Deep in this game. Uh, but yeah, we'll cover that next time. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Once again, uh, if you want to ask me any questions, uh, feel free to come and join the Discord. Uh, you can also uh, post some comments and I'll answer any questions I can to the best of my ability. 
and I'll leave a link as well to um, the Discord so you can join it in the in the description, uh, along with any information that I can add that maybe I forgot to mention here. Um, but I think I've covered everything. Um, but yeah, next time we'll look at Helm's Deep, uh, which is, like I say, a really fun area, and you get like quite cool party members to join. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll look at that next time. But yeah, until then, guys, hope you all have enjoyed it. And until then.